Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls No Shield, and today we're, as you can tell, no doubt, we're going to go and kill Gwendolyn, which is going to be either a one-shot, or probably more along the lines of a three-shot, knowing me. It's basically going to depend on how often I screw up dodging, which, given my Dark Souls, you know, previous attempts and things of that nature during this Let's Play, I'm leaning more toward the three attempts than the one. But, on the other hand, I do have a lot more health than I'm used to, so maybe that will kick up my, you know, odds of up a notch, maybe. I don't know. Because I don't remember his attacks hitting all that hard. I, uh, so I think one of them does, but it's very easy to dodge the one that hurts really bad. But I guess we'll see. I, don't, I forget which way you're supposed to push this thing to go down, but we want to go down. Not that way. Not that way at all. Wait a minute. Wait, do I want to go up or to go down? I think I want to. I think I want to go down. Maybe not. Because I what? I guess we'll see. Yeah, I wanted to go down. That was just a big old waste of time. Whoops. And why does my katana keep going one-handed? I don't want to go one-handed. I think that's something to do with my own mistake. But oh well. I don't think it can go up anymore, so this has to be down. Yep, one more this way. There we go. Okay, now that I finally mastered the wheel, or not, I don't know if that's qualified as the wheel, I, it is a wheel, but you get what I'm saying here. Now that I've mastered that mechanic, now we can actually get going. Now to fight Gwendolyn, first off, you need to have gotten the ring in the catacombs called the Dark Moon Seance Ring. I think I got that off camera because you have to run past a bunch of like skeletons in a very narrow hallway with a necromancer behind them, and it's behind a tomb. And then you pick it up, and there you go. That's that's how you get to fight this boss. And there goes the wall. If you don't have the ring, the wall will never disappear, and you'll never actually be able to fight Gwendolyn. You can't just walk through it, even though it's not actually there. You have to have the ring. You can take the ring off after you're done with it, but... You know, you don't really have to if you don't want to. Though, personally, I don't need additional attunement slots. I darn sure don't need physical attack resistance here. Excuse me, I need... Really nothing I have. Well, the closest thing I could possibly need would be, like, the wolf ring. Because I don't think you can get critical strikes on Gwendolyn. But keep in mind, if you go and kill Gwendolyn... Halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine eye. Hear the voice of mine self. Gwendolyn and kneel before me. Yeah, if you don't... or if you kill Gwendolyn, and you, or if you just step foot into here, he will always be mad at you. I don't remember if you can forgive yourself at the church or not, but yeah, you can join the Dark Moon here, which is generally considered to be one of the more dick covenants if you are a pvp -er. That's what my main is. He's a Dark Moon. Because you can invade anybody lower level. I don't think you can invade higher level. But if you do this... Anor Londo turns dark and you can be invaded anytime you're here if you're human. Even if the boss is already killed, so be aware of that. It's, it's considered treason or blasphemy or something. What foolishness. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? Mark the words of mine self. Gwyndolin. Thou shalt not go around the we, we done waving our dick around? Okay, I just thought we'd make sure before I actually start moving here. And that's, that's really all that was, was bluster. Because he can't really do all that much as long as you're competent and dodging at least a, a facsimile of things like this. The ones you gotta work, look out for is that, because that goes through walls. But it's fairly easy to dodge by itself. Also, it's a really good idea to zig, to zig and zag when you get close to him, because of that. The damn... knives. 
so you don't really just eat a whole bunch of knives to the face and probably die in one volley. It takes a little longer to get near him, but it's a lot safer to zig and zag. I think you zig when you should have zagged that- oh good god, well that sucked. Yep. I- apparently that's an arrow, I thought that was just, like, throwing knives. But yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot of health. Like I said, it's either gonna be a one-shot or like a three-shot. I never really expected to die too awful much to him. You just gotta learn how to time that- that roll is really the hardest part about this, and knowing to zigzag, that's basically the whole fight. I don't know how he fires that many arrows in short succession, but he does. Oh, come on, he doesn't have any health left, and you know it. You know it. He literally has nothing. He's got nothing. Well, that was just... No sound effects, ahoy! Yes, keep firing the arrows, they're really not a threat at all. Done. An eternal curse upon thee. A fun fact out there, you can actually chase Gwendolyn all the way to the back. That is not, in fact, an infinite hallway. I've done it only once before, just to see if it could be done. It can actually be done. And then the fight is a total joke. Because at that point, he just kind of sits there and goes, Oh shit. <laughs> it just goes, what do I do now? I think he still might throw the arrows and maybe a magic spell or two, but considering you can just like literally just go yeah and literally run circles around them, it's really not bad. It's <laughs> once you get to that point. One of these has the Sunlight Blade Miracle. I don't remember which one. It's not particularly useful for me anyway, but I figure I might as well show you guys what's in here. Yeah, that's the one. One of these is empty, I thought, but maybe not. Maybe not. You know, I never went back there, but there's nothing back there. Oh, I was right. One of these doesn't have anything on it. Yeah, I never went back into these corners. Now we've experienced something new together. Or something. That's one of the biggest troll things, though, in the game. Here's a treasure chest. Oh, by the way, there's nothing in it, so screw you. Oh, FromSoft. You love trolling us. And I love you for it. Except when I don't. And then I hate you because of it. Okay, well, that's, I guess that's pretty much it for Gwendolyn. Now that I've ticked off all of Anne Orlando, which, by the way, don't ever go to the Anne Orlando bonfire again. Just don't do it. Because if you do, you know that lady that was a Dark Moon, uh, what do you call it, Dark Moon Covenant member? That says something along the lines of, if you wish to go to see Lord Gwyn, just go forward into his house. I don't know what she said, but you know the woman back there by the bonfire? Yeah, she's a Dark Moon Covenant member, and she doesn't like it when you kill her, her, uh, you know, boss. So, she tries to kill you on sight from here on out. So, you know, be aware of that, so you don't walk into a trap. That would be kind of bad. I don't care that I'm putting way too many points in Vitality. I'm gonna need it when I get to Manus, and I already know I'm gonna need it when I get to Manus. That's just the way of the world. And by the way, I remembered where to farm Titanite Chunks. I'm about to go unlock that right as we speak because that is very important and it doesn't really trigger any you know you have to finish the game now things but it does unlock the final area the best unquestioned place to farm titanite chunks I'm still not sure what I did to piss off for, uh, oh wait no I know what I did I didn't talk to him before I went down to put the Lord Vessel if you don't talk to either one of them they both get mad Koth and Fromt Oh well, we don't need them anyway. They're just a burden. Now this does unlock the final area of the game, but you don't have to go into it right off. It's an important distinction because a lot of people probably think, well, if you offer up all the things to go in the final area, doesn't that mean you're about done with the game? Yeah, you could about be done with it, but you're not guaranteed to be done with it if you don't want to. But if I remember correctly, this is the best place to farm chunks because I believe you get a guaranteed chunk every time. And I'll, I'm will i going to try and prove that to you, just for the love of goodness. If you don't like PvP, don't be online down here and in human form. Because this is a famous dueling spot and people will kick the crap out of you and love every second of it. I'm just going here to show up to hopefully prove myself right. That's basically the only reason I'm doing this. And to test my, test my skills out against these... You know, knights. 
Because normally I never had I never I never even got hit during these runs. You know, these farming runs. Let's see how I do with a no shield character. Uh, about the same, except now instead of block and backstab, it's just roll and backstab. Okay, fine. I think it's this one that drops the Titanite, like the regular Titanite chunk, but I don't know that. Boy, this is really easy. And were you the one that drops the regular? Yeah. That one always drops the regular chunk, I think. One, like, one drops blue, one drops red, and... The final one might drop another regular, I don't know that, but yeah, that's where I'm going to be farming a lot of my chunks from. And I'm going to be upgrading my weapons off camera, so you guys don't wonder, where in the hell do you get all those chunks from? This is where I got them from, just showing you right now. And that's probably going to be it for today, because I still got to record some Bloodborne here, and hopefully he's still online, because I had to do this first to make sure I got it done. So as soon as we get back up here and back to Firelink, because I don't know about you, I don't want to sit down here forever in a day, waiting to, you know, it's just not a very nice place to spend your time. Oh sure, you get a fancy little pseudo-television back in those days and seeing ghosts just wander around, but I'd much rather sit here with my idle time. But I think that's going to be it for today. The only thing left I have to do is the DLC, I think. I might have missed a boss somewhere. Did I miss a boss somewhere? I'll look it up. I don't think I did, but I'll look it up just to be sure. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or just feel like chatting, please put it in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you. And as always, if you'd like to help support the channel and help it grow, you may wish to like or even subscribe for easier access to future videos. And hopefully I shall see you next time. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.